is Jay and Lori Pyatt from The Couple Cure with this week's question. My husband's CSAC counselor felt disclosure might be a waste of time because my husband was stalling, doing the bare minimum, although he appears to want it, he's stuck. And this is a big part of the question. I'm wondering if my husband has a, is in a place of deep grief and depression and has been for, for many years of childhood trauma. I'm wondering if we are putting the cart before the horse and if dealing with his addiction will help with his depression shame or will he deal with the depression before he can begin the deep work of sobriety and recovery? We're six months into a therapeutic separation. I'm feeling I'm like, I feel like I'm dealing with an emotional invalid as he can't cope with daily tasks and can't remember things. And I have to explain concepts, concepts of empathy and disclosure on a daily basis. Although he's been parts, been a part of a men's group for six months or so. I feel like I'm carrying the load, helping him find quality counselors, um, groups and books, but it's a bare minimum effort from him. So I want to start with have to explain concepts of empathy disclosure, even though he's been a part of a men's group for six months. That's kind of what we mentioned earlier, that the men's groups are not there to teach him empathy, unless it's like to build the marriage after breakdown. Mm -hmm carrying the load helping him find quality counselors bare minimum from him it's very common unfortunately but the first part of it csat feeling disclosure might be a waste of time i'd say first maybe try a different csat might not even be a csat maybe try a person who uh, deals with disclosures uh, within the trauma model uh, especially if his csat was seeing that like, he was stalling doing the bare minimum is he in a place of deep grief and depression from childhood trauma? That's a big one. Childhood trauma is a real thing. My first question that's coming to mind would be, how was he before D-Day? How was he functioning before all this came out? Because some guys will say, oh, like, I don't want to look at that because, um, you know, now my I'm going to feel my trauma Whereas before they were highly functional, they weren't looking at it. Now, again, childhood trauma is so tricky that I would be really careful with that. Um, but there are really good modalities out there that can help him with a trauma. Um, you know, there might be uh, medications that can keep him from feeling the anxiety of it. Right. What I know between Lori and I is she has childhood trauma. I had childhood trauma. My One of my deflections was that trauma. Um, I like what Lori had to say. If he was functional and now he's not, might be a little bit of emotional hijacking like we were saying earlier. Um, and uh, porn is a cover for uh, you know, stuff that we don't know how to deal with. Yeah. So the more he uncovers that, the more he's going to feel real feelings, he's going to feel real things. And so he does need, um, you know, the means to work through that. So the, the um, therapeutic separations, those type of things, what he should be working on is not trying to fix the relationship. That's why the trauma model says in step one, get stable. It doesn't sound like he's stable. So if he does have childhood trauma, he needs to work on his own stability and finding a place to say, as a child, I was abused by somebody and be able to step into that because he's, he's still going to be feeling that and he's going to be feeling it at a magnified level without porn. Mm -hmm. So if that's his limiting factor, he needs to deal with it no matter what. Mm -hmm. For me, the tell for Jay was the only time he ever talked about any of that stuff from his past was in order to get out of talking about what he had done to me. Right. And so that was one of my firm boundaries when I said, if that's why you turn to porn, 
If that's why you can't talk about it, then you need to get a handle on that. You need to see a therapist. I'll give you try, you know, several tries to uh, several times you can miss it, but each time the consequence is going to grow. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing that he never missed. It kept him from bringing it up in conversation.